The Apple iMac is, without question, my favorite computer of all time. Not only did it rescue Apple from the brink of oblivion, it set a design standard that defined the turn of the millennia. But it's really hard to film. If you've tried to shoot video from a CRT before, you know the struggle. But for most cathode ray displays, fixing the problem is as easy as setting your shutter speed to 30 or 60, calling it a day. But not so with the iMac. It is so hard to get a flicker free picture. By the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how good video captured from the screen of a vintage iMac can look, provided you've dialed in the correct setting. What makes the CRT on the iMac so hard to film are its weird refresh rates. Your normal run-of-the-mill NTSC display has a 60 hertz refresh rate. Sorry, pal, you weirdos. Your old TVs and most old-school CRT computer monitors fit this bill. Some higher performance displays would hit 75 hertz or above, much like today's gaming monitors, hitting ridiculous refresh rates imperceptible to everyone but the S-tier Giga Chad Gamer. The iMac had three refresh rates and resolutions available. 640 by 480 at 117 hertz, 800 by 600 at 95 hertz, and 1024 by 768 at 75 hertz. As you can see, these are all weird, but fear not, it is possible to get great screen footage using a digital camera provided it has flexible settings, and I bet yours does. What I'm using, a Nikon ZFC, which is a lovely mirrorless camera I don't think Nikon makes or even supports anymore. I'm gonna go through the settings I tried until I finally got it right. There is more than one way to skin a cat, however, so if you have a different experience, I would love to hear about it down there. I'm pointing to where the comments are, which is usually below. Could be on the side. I don't know what your layout is. All right, wanted to give you a heads up. There is a little bit of flashing in the video that's coming up, so if you are sensitive to that i encourage you to skip ahead about 60 seconds all right first up we have 640 by 480 at 117 hertz 1 60th of a second shooting at 4k and 30 fps as you can see it is not matching up that's because 117 hertz i don't think that's divisible by anything and nothing even comes close so this is not the setting same camera settings as before, but now we are at 800 by 600, which has a 95 hertz refresh rate. It's still not working. All right, and at 1024 by 768, it's close. It's got that 75 hertz refresh, but it's still not there. 1 30th of a second at 24 FPS gets us really, really close. Took the shutter speed down to 1 25th of a second, and you can see we are so very close. There's just a whisper of a line there now. And we have found a winner. 25 FPS, 1 25th of a second shutter speed at 1024 by 768. Look at that. It is gorgeous. I love it. I want to marry it. I want to have this IMAX children.
So there you have it. My personal settings are iMac resolution at 1024 by 768 at 75 hertz, camera shutter speed at 1 25th of a second, and the camera frame rate and resolution at 4K at 25 frames per second. Not only does it eliminate the rolling black bars, the low frame rate gives a nice pretentious look like you're an auteur. If you like this video, just tell me you do. I would really appreciate it. If you don't like it, scram. Hey friends, if you like this video, why don't you consider subscribing? That sends a clear signal to me that I should keep making videos. If you don't subscribe, you'll make the baby Jesus cry.